All right, folks, John Peterson from John Peterson Photo here, and I'm here to give you another example of this concept of light shaping. How do you shape the light to get the viewer to look where you want them to or to accentuate certain parts of the scene? Now, here's a finished image that I want to work on with you today. This was shot up in Washington, up in Cape Disappointment beautiful wave loved it um, and this was kind of the finished product and i did a bunch of work on this uh, you can see the different layers i have over in photoshop and this isn't a photoshop tutorial or lightroom or any other tool you can do everything that i'm talking about in any photo editing tool that you have with brushes filters luminosity masks it doesn't matter the concept is the same regardless of the tool that you use okay so let's let's jump into it here's here's this image here's the raw image for this you know and i selected this image because i saw the possibilities it had great structure i knew that there was a lot of color involved here in the middle of the image that i really want to bring out and i really wanted to direct the viewer's eyes in this into this central part of the image so first thing i'm going to do is just do a quick little um uh, a quick little uh, vibrance layer for the midtones, and I happen to be using um, TK Tony Kuiper's uh, TK7 panel, um, but I'm going to add just a little bit of vibrance into the midtones to help bring a little bit of pop to this image. Then, then what I'm going to do is do a quick little uh, color adjustment, um, and I'm really just focused on the middle of the wave where I know that there's some color. I don't want to go too strong with this and I'm doing this really quick and really quick and dirty. Um, you can generally add more yellow than you can red. Um, so you got to be careful with that. So I've added some color. I'm going to block out all of that adjustment and then paint in some of that color. So I knew that I know that the color is down in here. I know that there's some up here. I know that there's here and I can tell that there's color just by looking at the looking at the image. I mean, I've looked at enough images to know that there is um, a lot of potential. I'm not adding stuff that isn't there. I'm just bringing out and highlighting certain features that are already present. So without color, with color, boom. Now I wanna start shaping some of the light. And to do that, I'm gonna use a, um, a dodge layer. So I want to get a dodge layer going. Again, uh, Tony Kuiper's panel gives you a really quick and easy button to do that. I'm going to go down to 5% opacity with my brush and just start painting in some dodge effects where I want some of the light because I really want to highlight these waves. I do want to brighten it up in here a little bit with my dodge. I want to highlight this curl because I love this curl right here. Uh, bring out a little bit of white there. This wave here is in shadow, so I want to bring this up as much as I can. Maybe add a little bit of brightness right in here. I know I'm going to do something later, so I don't want to do too much right now. So with my dodge, went from that to that I'm highlighting certain features with light values okay now what I want to do is bring back some more vibrance I want to add some vibrance right in here there's different ways to do it um, I'm going to I usually use Tony Kuiper's panel to do this but what I'm going to do is just do a quick and easy one with the brush and um, just because it's fairly tool agnostic so i want to add some vibrance i'm going to invert my mask and again i'm going to paint this effect into the areas that i really want to pop and to jump so down in here i'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger i really want this central part of the image to jump and so that's why i'm going to paint some vibrance in here
So it's a subtle effect. We went from that to that. What vibrance does, it brings out the brightness or the vibrancy, the color vibrancy in pixels that aren't super vibrant. So it tries to um, bring up some of those vibrant values and it really, I think, helps the image pop a little bit more. So overall, let me get rid of this. Overall, we've gone from that to that. I've got the color exactly where I want it. I've got a little bit of the light shaping happening on these wave fronts. Now what I want to do is, is do a vignette to further direct the viewer's eyes towards the middle of this image. I've got a way in the Kuiper panel to do a freehand vignette. You can do a vignette in Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One. Um, all these things have great um, vignette tools. I like to be able to place my vignette exactly where I want it. And with this tool, with the lasso tool, I can do a custom freehand vignette to do it in any shape that I want it to. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to select freehand vignette and let the computer crunch a little bit. And then you can see over here that I do have a freehand vignette. We went from that to that. Adding a vignette to an image really creates some depth and it helps direct the viewer's eyes to where you want them to look, which is generally in the center of the image. And with this, you know, I can increase the opacity of this layer if I want, make a really strong vignette, or I can bring it back down to where I want it. Um, yeah, a little about 40% is good for me. So I like this image, the way it's coming out, but this still feels a little bit darker than what I want it to be. So what I want to do, I'm going to do a quick and easy adjustment brightness layer, and I'm only looking at the center of the image, and I want to get the right tonal values for what my mind's eye sees in this image. So I increased the brightness, it kind of destroyed some of my vignettes. So what I'm going to do is invert the mask, go back to my brush tool, and I'm going to paint some of this brightness back in. I'm going to go down to a lower opacity, a little bit smaller brush, and paint this brightness back in, right into here. I really want it to, I really want this area of the image to jump and shout. And I'll again, maybe brighten up a little bit of these wave fronts because these are important compositional elements for me. And boom, we went from that to that in about five minutes. And it's through the use of color, light, and vignette that I can direct the viewer's eyes right in here to the middle of the image. Because there's not a really super strong focal point, I don't want the viewer's eyes wandering all around my image. And so I really worked to direct their eyes right into this central section. So there you go. If you have any questions about what I did, how I did it, or um, have any thoughts or comments about any sort of the use of light in terms of processing your images, drop me a comment in the notes below. Um, and if you want to see episode one, I'll put the link in the comments below as well, or in the description. So thanks for watching and have a super great day. All right, bye-bye.